Two Poems by Edgar Allan Poe Evening Star Twas noontide of summer and midtime of night, and stars in their orbits shone pale through the light of the brighter cold moon, mid planets her slaves, herself in the heavens, her beam on the waves. I gazed a while on her cold smile, too cold, too cold for me. There passed as a shroud, a fleecy cloud, and I turned away to thee, proud evening star, in thy glory afar. And dearer thy beam shall be, for joy to my heart is the proud part thou bearest in heaven at night, and more I admire thy distant fire than the colder, lowly light. Annabel Lee It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea, but we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabel Lee, with a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that Long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabel Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me, yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabel Lee, and the stars never shine, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And so, all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling my darling, my life and my bride, in the sepulcher there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea.